Yo guys, it's Chris here about another video, and today we're going to be doing Street Speed 717-06 2016 Corvette today. Now this is the closest that we have, is the 2015 version. Before the video starts real quick, I just want to shout out Forza, Man uh, Forza Maniac on Instagram. He has for, uh, he's doing a lot of Forza, he's basically a Forza photographer, and he does a lot of cool stuff, as you can see, I like a lot of his pictures. And yeah, and speaking of Instagram, uh, another shameless plug trying to get my Instagram to 2,000 followers by the end of the month, so make sure you check that out. Alright, so Street Feeds build has a a lot of a lot of mods on it, and of course you have the really cool wrap on it, uh, but our goal is for him to, or for this car to have 770 horsepower, because that is what he has. So that's where we're going to try to get today. Um, I doubt it's going to be on the front page here. That was a nice uh, supreme thing there. I'm just going to type in street speed, see what pops up, and we can get the wrap started already. And at the end, we are just going to uh, do some uh, pulls. We're just going to do uh, maybe a quarter mile and a half mile. Uh, that should be all That should be all we need for this to see uh, kind of where we're going for right now. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the best one. So we're going to use this one. Uh, just uh, referring back to what his car actually looks like real quick, and that definitely is the best one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's going to cost us 110000 We're going to make this thing stock, and then we're going to uh, upgrade based on what he has, because this is a car build, obviously. We are going to put on the rims that he has, and actually, uh, I'm gonna f I think it might already be stock. Hopefully, yeah, of course it's stock. Why am I doing that? All right, so we're going to go to the rims that he has, and we're going to do that. Actually, are those... Is it? Oh, okay. Well, they're stock rims. I I don't I don't watch street speed, so I don't know this thing. So I just got recommended to this, and so I'm doing it. Uh, so that looks right. So now we're going to go to all the, uh, that's the visual mods there. So now we're just going to go into all this stuff. Uh, basically, it's not an engine swap or it's not a, uh, drivetrain swap. Obviously, I mean, who's gonna put a V10 and a V12 in a Corvette? I'm not sure about that. So we're going to start off, this dude has put 13,000 on this. So we have the intake, uh, actually no, never mind. Starting off we have the intake on this bad boy, that's that's the ignition. We have the intake here, remember our goal is 770 horsepower, we're already at 662. Um, we have the camshafts, and we're going to put that on there. We have... The fast blower, so um, now we have valves in here. We have the exhaust, that's the supercharger. Sorry, I'm tired. Alright, so we have the exhaust here. It's it's a lot more in the game, but then again, it's it's not the same Corvette. It's close, but it's not the same. So, uh, horsepower is going to be a little bit different. And yeah, that's basically all we can do. I'm, I'm going to do the supercharger, obviously, but... Yeah, very, very fast car. Uh, now we just have to... Uh, we can't do the thermal reduction plates. Uh, obviously, we're going to have the 14 PSI, hopefully. And, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do there. It has a tune on it, so we're going to put a fairly good tune on this thing. That's 910 horsepower. That's not as much as he has in real life. Like I said, it's, it's not the same exact Corvette. It's pretty close, but it's, it's not the same. So, this is actually a really fast car here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a basic tune on it. It's 27th on the tires. Can't really mess with any of this because I didn't upgrade any of that. So, that's all we have there. So, I did see that there was 60. What is it there was 60? 3.3. That's pretty good. So, now we're going to go onto the drag, do the half mile, and we're going to do the quarter mile. And see what we hey, can get. Alright, so we here, here we have the visual, which looks about right. Now for the sound test, I'm gonna I'm not gonna enhance the audio. This is gonna be just pure audio coming from the game. I'm not gonna boost it or anything. Oh yeah, see those flames. Oof. Or exhaust flames? Yeah. There you go. All right, so we're gonna line up the quarter mile. I know that's the half mile, so it's probably close enough. It's not. That's not close enough. All 
Alright, that's close enough. It's about a half mile. That is quick. That is a quick 0 to 60, and that is a very quick 0 to 100. And... Oh. Just like that, this is a very fast corvette. That's the, that's the quarter mile. And that's the half mile. Wow. That is pretty quick. 205 feet. And that is the mile. Yeah, so keep in mind, it does have 150 more horsepower, so it's not as fast, but it's, it's still pretty good. There we go. I don't know what else I can do with this. I mean, it's not a whole lot more to do. I guess we can get some cool pictures and stuff, but, you know, it's for the time though. Yeah, this thing is very, very quick, in my opinion. It's super quick, actually. It's nice and low, too, and actually, you know, that's, that's GTA. Nice on the inside, too, to your head. Yeah, this thing is very, very fast. I don't know how good it would be at a street race though, but that is what we're going to test next. I'm going to see how good it is at a street race, and I'm actually going to do a, um, uh, let's, let's do one in snow. Surface Paradise is too much. Um, we'll do this. This seems good enough. For, this seems good enough. I don't want to do Surface Paradise because it's too much of 90 degree turns and stuff like that. And then sometimes Byron Bay, it can be iffy because sometimes there's the sand and dirt and all that. And as you see, uh, it's, I don't know how it's going to handle in the corners. Um, it is, it does also have a lot of horsepower, so we we'll probably do get some wheel spin there. <coughs> That's unfortunate though, but uh, we're just going to do, we'll just do the three lap race, a simple three lap race here. Uh, but this thing has, uh, it's 3,400 pounds. 3,471 so it it's not it's not extremely heavy either so this is a who you want to have a build recreated next you know I can basically do anyone that's right basically anyone you just let me know in the comments below I'll try to get it done try to get it in a video for you guys and yeah so I'm just gonna do this race here let's see how it goes we're going against some vipers as I can say in front of me Yep, that's why we have rewind. Yeah, basically just vipers, what we're going against here. Yeah, it's very twitchy. We're not, not twitchy, it's just... Re it's very reactive. I, don't, I, don't, I can't find the word, like... If, if you play Forza, you know what I mean, where... Oh, look at that. That was good. It's like, it feels late. Like, if you turn, it feels like it takes a while to turn, but then again, that does have to do with it weighing uh, 3,400 pounds uh, compared to the Vipers, who are lighter, so... This Corpid is actually really nice. I'm gonna keep this in my garage. It's a, a good way to spend 150k, because it's 110k. I put about 40k in upgrades, so... If you're for some reason just getting this game... Uh, it's actually, this is actually a good way to spend 150k. And that's not hard to get in the uh, beginning of the game. You can get a 900 horsepower car with this. Just please don't put a V10 or V12 in it. And there we actually have the Challenger up there. We're going to try to beat him out. I don't know how this is actually going to go. I have to see. Uh, I don't want to put any... I don't want to get any contact on him. There's a chance we can come back and catch us at the end here. We are in fourth. I did to get the past these two guys, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass that guy all the way up there. But we can at least go for a podium finisher. I am playing on a hard difficulty, so probably why. Maybe I don't. know, There's a chance we can get third here. It, de it depends how good we get that back stretch. If we do it as good as we did last time, and that does not help. I'm gonna rewind that. So I actually want to have a good race at this, but overall this. It feels like a nice race for me. It does have a lot of horsepower. It is actually no. I take that back. It's not unstable. It's actually really stable. It's just that it it's late. It's has a late reaction. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's that's basically how it is. And it's gonna be tough to try to get third here. We'll see. Uh, 
I don't think I'm gonna get it. This has nice brakes, though. I, I did to say that. I feel like I'm braking better than the Vipers. Ah, oh, that messed up. But I cut him off. Actually, it has the has the speed on the outside. I have a bad line here. Oh, we got it. All right, third place on the hard difficulty. That's not terrible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into photo mode, see if we can get out of this, and see if there's anything cool. Uh, probably, probably take some cool pictures with this, so I'll be right back for that. Well, I just uh, completed a race and I got 120,000 for it. So this car basically just paid back for itself. Yep. That's cool. I'm uh, going to turn our wheels here. Nice picture in the forest, you know. Cool trick, if you move back like this, and you zoom in at the same time, you get this. And basically, like, it makes the makes it look a lot closer. You can do the same thing do the opposite way, too. You can make it look a lot farther, which is what I'll do for this picture. Just some, some cool techniques. And, okay, so we're just going to take that. That's good. That sets us on that right there. And that is how cool this card looks. So it kind of does look weird like that, though. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this. I don't know. Well, that, that seems good enough, I guess. No, I kind of like it like this. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and ended up, we ended up getting a challenger in the background. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Peace, guys. Make sure to follow on Instagram for Zomaniac and I, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.